show you the techniques of spinal leader insertion in spinal anesthesia. First, we have to rule out the contraindications. Number one, meningitis. Number two, the use of anticoagulants. Number three, the patient refusal. Number four, any skin infections on the back. After that, we will come to the patients, introduce ourselves, explain the procedures to the patients and get consent. When it has been done, we will prepare ourselves wear the right cap, gown, mask and glove. We will come and help the patients to, in the, to sit on the bed and we will come and expose the back of the patients, locate level 4 and 5 spinal space with the hands at the superior iliac spine, putting thumbs at the midline of the spine. Feel for the spinal process, locate the widest space Prepare some lignocaine, 1% subcutaneous. White alcohol in a circular fashion. Inject slowly, subcutaneously, aspirate and give lignocaine until you see the pouch of subcutaneous tissues. Apply pressures on the area of injections and wait three minutes for the lignocaine to start the effects. Then we will use cohexidines to clean the areas and drag the patient with the linen on the back. Next, we will inform the patients that we're going to start the procedures. We will get the spinal needle, spinal cane. Feel for the wider space. Introduce the spinal needle at cephalic angle. In a, insert slowly in a controlled manner. Until the sub spice. The entry uh, bevel of the spinal needle should be oriented to the longitudinal fiber. The entry of subarachnoid space is described as a pop sensation or a loss of resistance. Reorientate the bevel back to the midline. Remove the needle and look for the flow of cerebral spinal fluid out from the... Okay. After you've seen the spinal fluid was flowing out, attach the syringe, which is already filled up with the heavy marking, 0.5%. In a very slow fashion, introduce the drugs into the spinal canal. Inform the patient do not cough during the procedures. Once you have inserted the drugs, Remove the syringe, observe for the flow of CSF from the needle. Make sure there is no blood 
seen in the spinal needles. Slowly take out the needle and dispose in the kidney dish. After that, you have to apply plaster and tell the patient to lie flat for the next 6 to 8 hours.